Hi, and welcome to another Lure Fishing for Rass UK video. Well, um, today is uh, part two of my Pen Slammer video. Um, well, as you can actually see, I put my money where my mouth is, and I've gone and bought one. Um, yeah, so why did I go for this? Um, the other option potentially was a um, Pen Spin Fisher 6. Um, it's This was 30 quid more. Um, it gets an extra ISO, uh, IPX rating uh, to IPX6 opposed to IPX5 um, and an extra bearing. Um, I bought this from the point of view that it's as sealed as I'm going to get um, and I'm probably never going to have to replace it and it should never end up getting any internal wear. Um, as you can see by this one, I fitted um, the EVA knob. Um, unfortunately, um, you don't get a nice round EVA knob. Um, but you do get uh, the, the gold one. Um, changing the handle over is really, really easy. Um, rather than me do it online, drop screws, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera, um, It is as simple as take off the cap. The O-ring's already attached to the cap, so I'm gonna worry about that. Uh, remove that screw, then pull the knob off, and then that ball bearing comes with it. The bottom one stays in place. So putting it all back together, the bottom one stays in place. You've then got to get the a bearing back inside it, I then put a little bit of uh, Loctite on the screw, uh, screwed it down uh, nice and tight so then it was nice and free, um, added a tiny bit of grease uh, to the O-ring there and then screwed the cap back on. Um, so as you can see, you do get a round EVA knob, but unfortunately not in the 3,500 size. Um, this, by the looks of it, is exactly the same one as the ill-fated pen clash I had, and I had nothing but problems with that and wasn't impressed with it at all. Um, so with this one, even though I'm sure that you're aware of all the specifications on it, um, it's got 6.2 to 1 ratio. Um, it weighs 13.9 or 393 grams. Um, <coughs> with regards to um, brake capacity, on there I've put um, 33 pound Berkeley Whiplash 8, eight strand braid. Um, it, this is a 300 meter spool, and as you can see by that, it takes as near as damn it 300 meters. Um, I've yet to get out in the real world and use it yet, um, but uh, that's going to come shortly as soon as the British weather manages to um, sort itself out. Um, one thing that I have noticed that um, the cap there, when I took the cap off just to see as to what that was like, it wasn't greased at all. So I've managed to take some of the grease that was on the inside of there and grease that. Um, but yes, nice reel. It's there for a job. This is a reel that I don't mind getting wet. Um, I've got some bass fishing coming up this year in various places where I'll be wading, where there'll be mm, some surf. Um, hopefully not too much because I'll get drowned. Um, but yeah, this reel then will not have any worries about it. I can come home, rinse it in the shower, put it away, and it'll be fine. Um, so that's that's the idea of it. Um, it is a reel for a purpose, um, so yes, very impressed with it. And the other thing I'm impressed with actually is the line lay. If I do that, I hope you can see that um, well enough. Yeah, it's not in the same class as a Stradic or, or, or you know, one of the, the better Shimanos, but I'm very impressed with it. Um, it did come with a, a few shims. Um, I've not had to use them, I'm glad to say, so I've had that straight out of the box. So whoever set the reel up at the factory, well done, 10 out of 10. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can um, let you know about the reel. Uh, if you shop around, you can get them for a fairly good price. They retail for about 175 quid or something like that. Um, and I paid 130, I think, for mine. Um, so yes, so if you do like the video, please do give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, please, don't ask, please do ask them below. Thanks a lot. Bye now.